Okay, friends, in this video, let's see the view scroll from view use. And if you want to install the view use, you can say npm install at view use slash core. I have created a view project. Here it is. It's empty. And if I open the VS Code, yeah. let's first let's import the ref and use scroll from view use. So I'm going to paste it here. So import the ref from view, import use scroll from view use core. Then let's create a constant element and assign that with a ref node initially. Then let's create a constant and I'm going to name it scroll and assign with use scroll and pass in here the element we created here. In template, I'm going to create a div and I have installed the title in CSS and I apply some styles here. So with full flex and H screen, then I'm going to create another one, which is going to be height and width three by six. And I added the overflow scroll and also a ref to the element we created with, uh, which was initially null here. And inside I'm going to pass some learn Ipsum text. So just the CEO. And now if I open the browser, we have something like this. Okay. Now down there, I'm going to add a div and I'm going to pass the scroll just to display the values. So here I added a div, then a pre tag. And inside the pre tag, I added the scroll constant we created here, which assign with the use scroll element. And if I save that and let's open the browser, here we have the X value, which is zero, Y zero and is e scrolled into false. We have our if state left true, right true by default, top true and bottom is false. Now, if I move this to the bottom, now we have bottom to true and top is false. Also the Y has changed. Okay, now add another div here to change the X value with the class with 96. Here we have now, if I move right, you can see the position, the X value is going to change. And also the right, or if state is going to be true and left is going to be false. If I move left, the left is going to be true and right false. Okay, now I have changed something here. So I created a constant and say distract X, Y, and our if state from the use scroll passing here the element. Okay, then the if state I added in the pre tag. Also, I created two buttons, and to this one I uh, added on click event, and I said here y plus equal to ten. To this one x plus equal to ten, and to this I said down plus ten, and then right plus ten. So down plus ten is for y and right is for x. If I open the browser, yeah, here we have. Now just click on the down. And as you can see, we're going to scroll down. If I scroll right plus 10, yeah, we moved right and down and right. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.